हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट यू कैन आल्सो विजिट आवर वेबसाइट फॉर द अदर्स चैप्टर द वेबसाइट लिंक इज इन योर डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स so hello everyone now this is the second part from the exercise 9.2 okay for the previous one please check the description box the link will be there so in this video i'm going to start from sum number 9 1 2 in sum number in sorry 1 to 8 in previous video so here in sum number 9 aparna got rupees 27 27840 as her monthly salary okay so this one upon nurse monthly salary and overtime her salary exceeds the overtime by rupees 16560 what is monthly salary so this one monthly salary plus overtime okay so in that case first here you have to let let upon nurse upon nurse monthly salary equal to rupees x okay then aparna's overtime amount the overtime that means the salary exceeds the overtime by 16560 so overtime amount will be x minus 16560 okay now according to the problem the total amount that means salary plus overtime that one equal to 27840 so here 2x equal to 27840 plus 16560 then x equal to first here you have to add this two number so just add it 27840 plus 16560 It will be here four 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 double zero by two, and your final answer two 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 double zero. Okay, so twenty two thousand two hundred. That is upper nurse monthly salary. Okay, now next one sum number ten. Hina has only rupees two and rupees five coins in her purse. If in all she has 80 coins in her purse amounting to rupees 232 find the number of five coins okay so first here total number of coins equal to 80 so first let number of rupees 2 coins that one equal to x and number of rupees 5 coins that one definitely 80 minus x because total number of coins equal to 80 so if the first one is x then definitely the second one will be 80 minus x okay now suppose you have only one coin only one 2 rupees coin so only one 2 rupees coin means the amount equal to 2 then you have two 2 rupees coin it's 4 then you have 3 to rupees coin it will be 6 in that way here you have total x to rupees coin so the amount for x to rupees coin that is 2x okay x multiply with 2 similarly suppose you have 1 5 rupees coin that one equal to rupees 5 then 2 5 rupees coin it will be rupees 10 3 5 rupees coin that will be rupees 15 now you have 80 minus x coin, so it will be 80 minus x into 5. Now, if you add this to amount, the total amount equal to 232. Okay, 2x is the total amount from rupees 2, and 5 into 80 minus x is the total amount from rupees 5 coin. So now 2x open the bracket. So 5 into 80, it's 400. Then minus 5x is 232. So here minus 3x equal to. Then you have to subtract 232 minus 
and it's minus 168 then minus minus cancel out so x equal to 168 by 3 that is 56 now what is x is is number of rupees 2 coins that means here number of rupees 5 coins total coins equal to 80 so 80 minus 56 that one equal to 24 so 24 5 rupees coins are there okay now next one sum number 11 in sum number 11 a parts contain rupees 550 in notes of denomination rupees 10 and rupees 50 if the number of rupees 50 notes is one less than the number of rupees 10 note so first let number of rupees 10 notes that one equal to x if the number of rupees 50 so number of rupees 50 notes is less than 1 so x minus 1 now next one so total amount x into 10 plus x minus 1 into 50 and the total amount equal to here 550 5, so 10 x plus 50 x minus 50 550 5, so 60 x equal to 550 5, plus 50 so x equal to here 600 by 60 that one equal to 10 so number of rupees 10 notes is 10 and number of rupees 50 notes it's 10 minus 1 that one equal to 9 so total 9 notes are there okay 9 notes are there of rupees 50 next number 12 after 12 years i shall be three times as old as i was four years ago so first here let the present present age of mine equal to x years done then four years ago four years ago age was x minus 4 it's very simple and after 12 years then 12 years after 12 years age will be x plus 12 i hope you have no problem present age equal to x years 4 years ago it will be x minus 4 and after 12 years it will be x plus 12 now here the condition is i shall be 3 times as old as i was 4 years ago so that means x minus 4 is equal to 3 times okay uh, 3 times of the previous one so multiply with 3 with x minus 4 it will be equal to x plus 12 because the future age definitely greater than the previous age so 3 times of the previous one that one equal to x plus 12 so 3x minus 12 here x plus 12 so it's 2x equal to 24 so x equal to 12 that means the present age equal to 12 years now next number 13 two equal sides of an isosceles triangles are 3x minus 1 isosceles means two sides are equal so this one here 3x minus 1 this one here 2x plus 2 the third side is 2x unit this one here 2x units find x and the perimeter of the triangle so as this one is an isosceles triangle and these two sides are equal so we can write down 3x minus 1 equal to 2x plus 2 so 3x minus 2x equal to 3 that means x equal to 3 so that is your first answer now next one find out the perimeter perimeter means addition of all sides okay so you have to first find out the addition of all sides 
सो यह थ्री एक्स माइनस वन प्लस टू एक्स प्लस टू प्लस टू एक्स देन थ्री प्लस टू फाइव प्लस टू सेवन एक्स सेवन एक्स प्लस वन एक्स मीन्स थ्री सो सेवन इंटू थ्री प्लस वन इट्स ट्वेंटी टू ओके सो ट्वेंटी टू यूनिट्स दैट इज द पेरीमीटर यर एक्स इक्वल टू थ्री नेक्स्ट वन लास्ट टू सम्स सम नंबर फोर्टीन सो गाइज इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो प्लीज प्लीज शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो हियर इन फोर्टीन द लेंथ ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगुलर प्लॉट इज सिक्स मीटर लेस देन थ्राइस ऑफ इट्स ब्रेथ सो फर्स्ट लेट ब्रेथ इक्वल टू एक्स मीटर द लेंथ विल बी थ्री एक्स माइनस सिक्स बिकॉज सिक्स मीटर लेस देन थ्राइस Thrice means three into breadth. Okay, find the dimension of the plot if the perimeter is one forty eight. I hope all of you know the formula for the perimeter: two into length plus breadth. That one equal to one forty eight. Then three x plus x four x minus six, and these two will be divide. So that one equal to seventy four. Then four x equal to eighty. Then x equal to twenty. Okay, you have to find out the dimension. That means length and breadth both. So here breadth equal to twenty and length equal to twenty into three minus six. Okay, so sixty minus six that one equal to fifty four. Okay, fifty four that is your answer. Now the last one. Two complementary angles differ by ninety. Now, what is the meaning of complementary angles? If the addition of two angles, suppose angle X plus angle Y equal to ninety degree, then we called these two angles are complementary with each other. Okay. So, as here, two complementary angles differ by twenty. Okay. That means if first angle equal to X. Then the second one will be this one here first angle. Then second one equal to x plus twenty. Okay, just write down here x. No need to give the sign. So x degree second one x plus twenty degree. Now as you know the addition of these two angle will be ninety degree because complementary angle. So two x equal to seventy. X equal to thirty five. Okay. So first one thirty five, then definitely the second one will be fifty five degree. So thirty thirty five and fifty five that is your answer.